I had been watching Cedric when he was owned by one of my dear childhood friends, Peter Wetherill. And when he was being sold in the late 2011, I thought it would be a great opportunity to jump into the jumping world with one of the best. To be able to carry on Peter's love of this horse and his love of Laura makes it very special for me. It is so exciting to watch Cedric compete. He is such a little powerhouse with a huge heart. To see him fly over those enormous fences is awe-inspiring. Cedric has been a horse of a lifetime for me. I think uh, not only because he was a part of my relationship with Peter Wetherill and Jim, uh, but also then uh, I got to know Margaret, um, who came in as the owner uh, in the 11th hour when he was going to be sold and she ended up buying him. He's what I call a darling horse. And uh, that of course was a great asset for the team. He had many, many wins for the USCT Nations Cups uh, besides the Olympic Games. So he, he's, a, he's a horse you won't forget. You won't forget Cedric. Um, I think that the feeling that I had standing on the podium in Beijing was relief. Um, because going into that, such an important event uh, on a horse that was essentially unproven up to that point, and knowing that he, he was still, you know, not 100% trustworthy at that level, I was just relieved that we were able to uh, be consistent. We put in a clear last round, we put in a clear round for the jump off, and it was, it was just, uh, yeah, it was, it was elation and a huge relief. It has been a privilege to own a horse like Cedric. Because of him, I have experienced international show jumping at the highest level around the world. I am so thankful for everyone who has played a role in his life. It does take a village. The nickname Monkey actually comes from one of his original owners. Uh, from the beginning, Peter Wetherill was, was a part owner, along with Janice Aaron. And Janice is funny, she just was watching him one of the first times I rode him and he was being uh, bucking and, and playing and being what he is and she called him a cheeky monkey. And for whatever reason, the name monkey just, you know, stuck with him and so we've called him monkey or monks for the duration, for the last 12 years. He is an absolute blood horse. All that thoroughbred blood in his vein. There's no bottom to Cedric careful, clever as a cat, so handy, so fast. He's, he's been amazing, and I think that I'll, I'll never have another horse like him. Um, he's, he's, I said, there's a pecking order. It's my son, Bobby, it's Cedric, and then there's the rest. So um, he's, he's like my second son. I wanted to go with him because he was such a careful, competitive horse, and the rider. Nobody rides better than Laura. There will be only one Cedric, and I am honored to have been part of his journey. While it is sad that Cedric will not compete anymore, I am happy that he is retiring healthy, happy, and sound. He'll spend the rest of his days relaxing under Laura's wonderful care in England.